if you will, to take you on a journey to a town that may resemble some of your sought-after memories of childhood. Dark streets, foggy mornings, mysteries to be discovered under every rock. Well, at least when viewed through the eyes of an idealistic teenager. This is our collective Mayberry. This is Kolok. The year is 1991. Tonight, we will be embarking on a journey unlike any you have ever seen. A journey through the mundane. Though that may be more familiar to you, I should make no assumptions. Why we choose to share this journey with you, fellow passengers, I may never know. My words mean nothing, so I assume you have no questions. Roll the intro. Hello, and welcome to Kolak, America's heart. Life is generally easy in Kolak. The spirit of our small town is built around enjoying life, despite our technological empire. Kolak is like Paris. Art, music, and treasures of life are not just incidental. They are central to the spirit of our little town. This is a special gift for visitors and those who live in our vast green valley. Kolak's natural beauty can be thanked to the peaks that tower over us in our four corners, shielding us from the elements. Spend the day at Crater Lake, fed by the ever-flowing Riley River. America's heart. Enjoy our historic Main Street, or take a tour of our world-famous Shepherd's Winery. My favorite. Kolak prides itself in being a world leader in renewable energy and advanced medicine. All thanks to our most famous attraction, Synchroneity Tech. Many new families find their home in Kolak. Brought in to fill one of the country's most exciting genetic research facilities, many open roles. <laughs> Science is at the very soul of Kolak. Unlike anywhere else in the world. Gated by nature itself. We begin again. 7 p.m. March 8, 1991. Kolok City Council has not called an emergency town meeting since the death of Kolok founder Shiloh Anah in 1962. But here we are. Kolok Volunteer Fire Department Banquet Hall. This small, picturesque town has recently been rocked absolutely to its core by a trio of suicides, the revelation that a town widow has been kidnapping and keeping tourists caged in her basement, and the untimely demise of four Kolok High students and one federal officer while under the care of town financial benefactor Synchronity Tech. To top that all off, the first storm in over a century just crossed the mountain range, headed directly for this peaceful valley. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming today. Welcome. Thank you for taking the time to appear at tonight's emergency council meeting. As you can see, we are extremely short-staffed today, in part due to the weather. And it goes without saying, due to tragedy. 
This meeting will be unconventional in nature, uh, but please everyone still adhere to the rules. Um, we, we have rules for a reason. You know, I see a lot of new faces in the back and that's expected given the circumstances. Your voices will be heard, but in an orderly fashion. Please be advised of the following rules in regards to community input. Members of the public who wish to speak on items shall be allowed to speak for up to one minute per item, up to a total of three minutes per entire meeting. The council will also provide an opportunity for the public to speak on public interest items. Each speaker shall be limited to one minute of general public comment each regular meeting for a cumulative total of three minutes. So, you will have a total of three minutes and that's it. If you go over that, we will politely ask you to sit back down. The council shall not discuss or take action relative to any general public comment. Uh, please make sure it's within the terms of the discussion, but most is on the table tonight. At this time, with a heavy heart, uh, we will allow the meeting to commence. First item on the agenda, uh, roll call. I, uh, Randy, Evelyn, City Council, President, accounted for. Vice President, Dr. Wallace Ronnie. Present. Uh, Merle Jenkins, as most of you know, is our school principal and chair of public safety. Uh, uh, present. And let the record show, council members, Gabby Bobby, Tara Jewell, Lauren Hillary, Aaron Cedar, Odell Tristan, Kelly Hadley, Brooke Greer, all unable to make it tonight, either due to the weather or aforementioned tragedy. Um, next item on the agenda. Uh, joining us tonight is Chen Chung Wu. Did it, am I saying that right? Just as it's written. Uh, from Synchronity Tech. Thank you. She will be here to answer your questions in regard to yesterday's accident and any other questions regarding Synchronity's contribution or involvement to the town of Kolok. Uh, welcome. Thank you for hosting me in your town. Okay. Um, I would like to remind everyone that Officer Warstone here uh, can and will throw you out of the meeting if I find any of you in any way disruptive. So, uh, moving on. I would uh, like to take this moment to have a moment of silence for those that we've lost in the last week. So if you could be so kind, please bow your heads. feel great. We will continue our moment of silence. Thank you. I will now present the City Council's official statement in regard to this last week's tragedies. The devastating loss of innocent lives in Kolok has left a void in a very tight-knit community that can never be replaced. After hearing the news, and as we learn more about the five victims yesterday, I am reminded by the resilience and great courage these community members de demonstrated in face of honor. The bravery of ordinary citizens to aid this community demonstrate the unity across the area and a quick call to action in such trying times. Whether it's been rescue efforts during an anonymous natural disaster or responding to life-threatening emergencies like this week, the commitment 
of our law enforcement and fire responders agencies to protect and serve is more than self-evident and we, we thank them. While we wait to find out more about what led to such untimely demise of the five heroes while under the care of Synchronity, I hope we can all come together as residents of this city that we all show some love and not allow the horrific, unspeakable act of one individual to consume us. We stand by the community of Kolok with an open heart and commitment to aid as you heal from such a tragic event. For those who want to play a more active role, I encourage you to volunteer at the local hospital or here at the volunteer fire department. At this time, as tensions and emotions are running quite high, we ask the community for calm and to respect the life and agency and legacy of all those lost in the past week. Anyone who might need grief counseling, uh, well, I believe Dr. Wallace Ronnie here could uh, possibly help? Yes, uh, my grief counseling um, class is every Wednesday, but we're going to be going all week um, due to the circumstances. Um, you can feel free to come down to my clinic. Uh, it'll be at 6 p.m. every night, uh, and I'm also doing in the mornings as well uh, at 10 a.m. So. Uh, and I, I would add that for any of the students um, or, or uh, parents who are uh, specifically looking for counseling, of course, we have uh, guidance counselor Joy uh, uh, has graciously uh, volunteered to help. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Julia. I, I, I apologize. Yes, so there, there are avenues available for you if you do need help in these trying times. So thank you. That will be our official statement on the matter. Would you, uh, fellow council members, have anything else you'd like to add to that? I um, thank you all for coming down. Um, we're going to try to get through this uh, uh, civilized and orderly so we can all get home uh, before, before the storm uh, rolls in. So um, just when you get up to the microphone, just be concise and clear. Um, and, and we'll try to address as best we can going forward. Um, and I just want to say personally, uh, on, on behalf of uh, the high school and myself, that um, we're, we're here for you. We're all family here in Coloc, and we, we, we want nothing but the best for our family and our friends and our neighbors. This place is paradise. I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but it has been, and, and it can be again. All right, okay, thank you. Enough of that. Uh, I will now give the floor to Synchronity Tech for their official statement in regards to yesterday's incident. Get out of here! Let's hear it! I just, just let, just a second. We, let the we, folks, talk. folks. Hi. Can you speak up, please? We can't hear you back here. I really get your shit. You don't want to hear it anyway. Hi. I'm here from Synchronity. Hi, hello. How are you? I love your hat. Looks great. Uh, our official statement is that uh, we want to put the... Uh, well, that's we, great. We want to let all of you know that Synchronity denies any and all responsibility uh, for oh, please. any... Please, everyone. Just I'm so glad that you all agree. No. I'm glad you all agree. Uh, Operations. These actions were a result of the stonemasons, who are a group of homeless men from the woods. What? Um, the, the Molotov cocktails ignited a gas in the quarantine zone that destroyed the oxygen supply, leading to suffocation of the five... Individuals, thoughts and prayers to all those involved. How do you sleep at night? Well, thank you. That, that, that was a question, not get the leave. I know. Okay, let it be known that that is the official statement that we will add to the record from Synchronity. At this time, we'd like to open the floor to questions. Please remember the rules of these meetings and proceed accordingly as you make your way to the mic. Uh, remember to introduce yourself, if you don't mind, and speak your question clearly. The mic is available for you. 
thank you. Well, uh, hello, I'm a. Uh, make sure to speak into the mic if you speak could. Speak in the end. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, I'm uh, Bernard, Bernard Sampson. Um, I, I know this uh, uh, as tragic times and all that, and I thank you. I don't want to take up too, too much of your time. Um, with all the tragedy and awful stuff, I think it's best if we try to get back to some semblance of, of normal, normalcy. And, and in, in that regards, I want to bring up, I, I've called the, the company and I just hope I can have some of your help. Um, see, for the last six years, ever since my, my wife died, things have been, been pretty much the same in my house. Like, everything's been, been the same, you know. But in the six years, like, there's not much variance. And, but recently, I've noticed my water bill's been going up. Like the usage is through, through the roof. It's, well, yeah, it's uh, it, it's almost double than what it used to be, and that can't be right. Now, now I'm I'm pretty handy myself. I used to tinker about there and then, and I checked the pipes and whatnot. But I think the meter might might be faulty. It's not the right time. Uh, yeah. Quiet, oh, folks. quiet, please. He folks. has his this is, sixty this, seconds. Th this is a civic forum, and I'm exercising my my civic duty. Um, I thank you. Your question. Um, we're, we're currently. Uh, you feel free to form a line if you have questions yeah, you'd like to ask. That's fine. But I'd like to answer uh, the question. Uh, we're not able at this time to look into that for you. If you could bring that to a regular council meeting, uh, you could possibly email us. We'll add it to the minutes for the meeting. Uh, yeah, our, we, our 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 regular schedule for for regular upcoming meetings, as well as our closure dates, are going to be posted at the exits. That's what, great. What, is your, what, was, what was that gentleman's name? I'm sorry. Bernard. Bernard Samson. Bernard Samson. Okay. Mm. I I just wanted this, to thank you for your question. Have anything to do with synchronicity? This Hon is a honestly, I think this is an important thing. Um, when pe we should all keep track of our water bills. If they're up, what could be happening? All right, Ms. Ms. Wu. Is that right, Ms. Wu? Your name is Ms. Wu. Is that uh, correct? Yes, it is. All right. Um, my name is Jacob Wells. Um, I work here at the. Uh, Kolak High School. I've been working in their janitorial department for the past two years. And um, I gotta say, uh, since your company uh, has done what it's done, say what you wanna say, you know, you've still done it. And you can sit there and you can read whatever statement they told you to read. But it doesn't change that these people deserve answers and that people are dying. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. finally, some change. So, Elizabeth Charbonneau with the Colox Sun. Uh, regarding the death of the students, you mentioned. Uh, uh, we're we're uh, currently in the middle of someone else's yeah, question. Blondie isn't going to be taken from my time, is she? No, you, you, you still have your. Uh, you can refer to her by her full name. I don't, we don't know need her you full to name. reduce her to, to her hair color. Okay, well, great, uh, Ms. Wu. You've reduced us all into some sort of cattle that your company likes to take and herd together and lie to you. Let's try and say civil, okay? Jacob, it's gonna be all right. It's Thank a meeting. you so much, Dr. Everyone's Ron. gonna be heard. Merle, you've always been good to me, and I'm sorry, but I'm pissed. All right, I'm fucking upset, mm. and I expect more out of you, Randy. Yeah. Look, we're all up here reading statements, and people are dying in this community. We deserve answers. Yeah. So real answers. Okay. So here's my question, okay? Ms. Grace, who's taking care of her? Does she have family? And if, they, if this was some sort of strange, uh, strange over occurrence that caused her to do these things, why are we treating her like she's some sort of villain wearing some a top hat? Uh, Ms. Grace is currently under investigation by the Colox City Police. Uh, do they want to make uh, a statement? As far as we know, uh, what happened was an absolute uh, tragedy, a horrible thing, unspeakable thing, and... We will need to wait for further information, although uh, to, to uh, the, the crooks of your question, are you, are you asking if there's any more information available uh, uh, in regards to the crime scene or? What do we know about these kids? Okay, let's talk about that. Sure. Let's talk about the children. Here's what we know. Tragedies happen. <laughs> On, on behalf of the town of Kolok, Ms. Wu, mm. fuck you. Oh. Uh, we will refrain from using the, such the language in this council meeting. Uh, if you make another outburst like that, I will have to ask you to leave. So please remember there are rules 
and we will do our best to follow them. I understand the tensions are high, but please keep yourself composed. How about trying to keep us alive? Next question, please. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my name is my name is Grace Hall. I am a retired high school teacher. I've been te I've taught most of the people in this room. This is a good community, and Colac was paradise until Synchronity came in here and made a lot of promises to us. I want to know where is the cure for my brother's condition? It's been years. You said that there would be something to help my poor brother. He's at home right now, can't get out of bed. Where is it? Synchronia, Synchronity has promised us things like this for decades, and now people are dying under your watch. That's what I want to know. What about the rest of us? Yeah, the people. Promises, we promises were made, and things are in the cogs of going through progress. There's no updates. I need an actual update. The, you are a scientific laboratory mm -hmm. research industry. Come on. There has to be something on paper to give us updates. You get tax breaks, don't you? You get tax breaks or something for being in this town? I guarantee that. Come on, give us some answers. I, 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 can't, speak, I can't speak as to uh, what kind of monetary gain we might be having oh, from the that's government. That's not the real, you uh, know what the, the actual question was. Don't do that. I, all I'm saying is that we don't accept bribes, and it is bribes. insidious. It is, what are you saying? It is insidious that you would suggest no, such. Did I say uh, anything about bribes? I, Randy, look, we need to. I don't want to put words in your mouth, Randy. but I heard what I heard. You and were wrong. You were uh, really wrong, honey. So that's All just right. really I want to give the Synchronity a chance to answer the question clearly and concisely. Sure. As the audience waits with bated breath on what Synchronity might have to say, I'm going to ask that you make a charm roll for me, difficulty of 20. <laughs> <laughs> this appears quite the difficult task. Right. I want to see how we're playing on. <laughs> Oh, that does explode, so you will get to roll it again. That is a total of nine. Now, granted, you do have 12 tokens available. If you would like to succeed this roll and give us a valid explanation, it will calm the crowd momentarily. I'll use whatever tokens I can to get me up there. Great. That will be 11 tokens used, so please do explain the situation, and it will momentarily hold over the anger of the crowd. I know that you have a lot of questions, and I know that this is a very frustrating time. No one understands being frustrated by things outside of their control more than we do. We strive to promise what seems to be the impossible. We want to deliver on that promise. We are working very hard to find your... Uh, brother? Yes, my brother. Your brother, a cure. Uh, those things do take time, and while it does take longer than we initially promised, we are still working very hard on that, and we are working very hard to try and protect your interests as a town, because we do see that your town is a paradise, and we strive to make sure that that stays the same. Thank you. Well, that was very nice, actually. Thank you. I appreciate that response. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Um, so next. Hi, L Logan Parsons. I go to school here. Hi, Hi Logan. Logan. Principal Jenkins. I just have a couple questions. Where is Mr. Thomas? Is he okay? Why um, is the FBI in town? Are they working with the police here? Yes, what exactly is the FBI investigating? Uh, please. As you can see, there's no one here from the FBI, so... But there was an FBI agent in town. Yes, and at the moment, he is there's no, no longer with FBI us. They're all over the place. <clears throat> I cannot answer for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Uh, whatever business that they have in Colac is completely up to them. So they are here. Right? No, why are they here? Who can answer for them? We do have one deceased federal agents, so the chances of more federal agents... So we have a dead federal agent in this room. So does that mean more are coming? Most likely, but to get to your question, Mr. Thomas is currently 
um, in intensive care at the hospital. After being released from Synchronity, we asked and were successfully able to get all of the remaining 12 or 11 um, individuals who had been kept in that basement out of quarantine and are currently in intensive care at the hospital. So people should be able to see them soon and get updates on that. I'm sorry, you had a second part to your question there? No, it's, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for your question. Uh, in regards to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, I am completely unaware. Uh, no information was passed on to us here at the council or through the police department as far as I'm concerned on the exact reasoning for their time here in Colac or why maybe Synchronity could enlighten us on why a federal agent was in the room with the kids when they I can't speak as to what the FBI was doing. I honestly, I, I, I tire of the of, of, of the government coming in and trying to ruin Colock. You you live here. She is not a council. This is a representative from Synchronity, no, mind you. Absolutely not. Well, I am not on the council. If the government is overstepping its bounds, why is Synchronity allowed to seize citizens? I, I, I'm sorry. Could town? you introduce yourself, please? Uh, Demir, I, I I work at the vineyard, and so why was Synchronity allowed to take citizens against their will, especially children of all people? Yeah. 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 Why yeah. Why yeah. Question? Instead of avoiding them. Shall I speak? I think you know, both sure. of you should. Oh, um, we, we merely wanted to protect the town. Um, as we said before, there was a, a chemical leak. As far as I was told, there was some sort of chemical agent found at the location where Jaina Grace had lived. Um, presumably putting all of the individuals in danger. At least that is what I was told on why these children were placed well, yeah, into quarantine. They're absolutely soaked in the chemicals. We didn't want them running around your town yes, well, getting you all... They the chemicals they weren't care. And how do we know the chemicals they were exposed to haven't been leaked out into the entire town? They could be anyway. Yeah. Can synchronicity seize any of us at any time, then? Apparently. Well, if you're covered in chemicals and threatening to run around the town and infect everybody, then yes. As a matter of fact, are there some symptoms of being exposed to the chemicals? What should we be looking out for? Are we still in the United States of America? Not here. I fought to have the freedom to not be seized by government or company. What is, what is the explanation behind this? Uh, okay, well... For those who may not be aware, uh, one of the individuals who passed, Marcus Bennett, his parents are both employees at Synchronity Tech, and they were the ones that supposedly discovered whatever chemical agent was present and advised their own son, as well as his friends, to go into quarantine, and they were the driving force behind that. Their child is now dead, and they are also grieving. Uh, so this, their child is a guinea pig. I yes. think that is a very gross accusation to make in light of the current tragedy. And were those parents specifically in charge of the quarantine of the students? Of the, the other individuals? The informed? They were informed, yes. The kids were currently being held by Colac City Police, why they were picked up by Synchronity and taken to the facility. But that is currently all the information I have on the subject. Please just let that out. on? Yes. Yes. Uh, Sean North. Perhaps I am just a simple firefighter, but I am wondering why Synchronity has chosen Colock of all places to set up shop. Hmm. There's something truly special about this town, and we uh, want to reward such a special group of townsfolk. Give a real answer. Because you're great! Isn't that the back of the door? Sure. Yeah, just said it. I didn't even know the name of our town just like two seconds ago. Colock. Yeah, you gotta ask. No, Colock, Colock. Colock. Right. Is this really the best they've got? It's a complete farce. Can we get someone else from the company? Yes, actually, I, I, uh, I would like to second that question. You absolutely cannot. 
Someone higher up, maybe wait, wait. the president? Wait, you're, you're the judge. She can't second you. Yeah. How maybe maybe somebody was briefed more than yeah, 15 minutes ago. I was under ago. the impression that we were here to, to maybe get some more information. That I, I, I am in agreement with that. Uh, Merle, I, I, I would like some more information as well. I think we are all here tonight to get some actual answers from Synchronity. I understand that. I really do. Uh, I'm here to provide answers. Uh, you just have to ask the right questions. And, You've just uh, been dodging everything the whole night. You're not playing dodgeball. What about these companies? Mm. Where else are the companies? Yeah. Well, as of right now, we have quarantined them uh, successfully, uh, and no one is in any danger, and uh, we, it's best to just move forward from this tragedy. I, w I was informed before this meeting that they had been transferred to the hospital, is that correct? They're under our care right now. They're being treated, but yeah, we haven't gotten too much out of Synchronity's doctors with what happened to them. It's a lot of post-traumatic stress at the moment, and a lot of traumatic physical injury too. Well someone needs to be held accountable for what happened to those kids. Are they murdered? Yes. I agree. You guys just monitoring the symptoms you gave them. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Uh, that that's okay. you that, not if you have if you have a question, uh, you could please um, stand in please line. Please stand in line and we'll we'll get to the official question momentarily. Uh, do you have any other questions to believe your minute is about to come to a close? I do, yes. Perhaps um, changing the topic slightly can help get us some answers. What exactly happened to Jacob Jewell? Uh, Jacob Jewell, as far as I'm aware, uh, as reported by the police on Wednesday, and I don't believe anything has changed on that report, was found hanging uh, just outside the local graveyard above an open grave. Um, the suicide note was um, found. I, can I, if you want, I can. Yes, I can yes, go ahead. I've known the Jewels for years. Uh, he's been a close personal friend ever since. There's been a lot of tragedy in the Jewel family, but I went over the autopsy. I was the one who saw him when he came in. I didn't see any evidence of foul play. And. It honestly, it's hard to talk about to see a friend there, but I, if there was foul play, I would not cover that up. I would want answers for that. You said he was over a grave? A grave that he had apparently dug himself. Yes, it was yes. a suicide. Do we have any reason to miss, believe that these mysterious suicides have I, anything to miss, do with what happened with Ms. Grace? You can ask the questions if you get in line. The line's rather short, if, you, if you'd like to. We're more than happy to answer them, but there Everyone is a protocol. Gets a fair shot. That's all for me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for Thank your you. service. Yes. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Sebastian Burr. Uh, you may call me Seb. I, I work at a uh, morgue uh, as a mortician's assistant, and lately there's been a lot of bodies. And I'd like to know, uh, in, instead of asking Ms. Wu, uh, I'd like to ask the council, um, what, what is the council going to do to protect us against uh, synchronicity? I think I speak for everyone here. They yes. obviously yeah. cannot be trusted. Um, I'm a little unsure of how to respond to a question in regards to safety from synchronicity. Uh, I mean, as the city council, we make sure anything that they would like to approve, uh, any Further developments or expansions go through the council, and you know we, we notify you of those situations. But I, I do feel like we're getting into conspiracy territory here when people start mentioning things like to protect the safety of individuals. How from people have to die? Exactly. No, as this is not about I, I would, a, a I would conspiracy. Also, no, no, this is not. Um, I, I believe I'm just asking. Uh, how do we keep them from um, doing anything further uh, uh, with their chemicals, with, the, with, with their experiments, with whatever, whatever yeah, is going on? Sorry, there is no those closed doors. I, I just, I just want to. Um, I, I don't think we were talking about Seb's question in specific. I think we were talking about the general idea of people coming up and thinking that there's some sort of conspiracy. yes. There's, there's no evidence to say that in any way, shape, or form, Synchronity has poisoned individuals. Well, is there evidence to say that they did? It. Folks, we're within the first week of everything having happened. We're obviously going through investigations, trying to see what happened, and to make sure that everybody's safe in the community. Who oversees and, and, that? 
Uh, that 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 would uh, uh, sorry uh, that would be me. I'm the public safety uh, chair person, um, and and I think that you you all know that um, well. Most of you know me, or or your kids know me, um, and and you know we we <clears throat> want sorry. We we're we're trying. Um, we try our best to keep everyone safe, and um, this is not. <clears throat> This has not been easy for us either. That's why we're here, though, is because we've called an emergency meeting to try to address these concerns that we all have. I have, I have a lot of these concerns as well, um, but in my capacity here on the council, we're trying to get to the bottom of it as fast as possible and as cleanly as possible with as many answers as possible. And timetable? Uh, unfortunately, Listen, this is, not. This is uncharted territory. We're just like you folks. We live here. We grew up yeah, here. You're just, you're just like us. We're, we We've been here for generations. Sure. Yeah, you're just. This is unprecedented territory, and we're still. I'm sorry, but we're not used to dealing with these kind of things. This, this has been an unprecedented week. No one has lived through anything like this. That's why we want. We called this meeting for you to be here to ask us these questions. Is we want to give you as many answers as we possibly can, but there are some things that are being asked that are just uh, protection. No, simple the, protection the, is what true. we're asking. Eight people didn't live through something like this. And something more than a written statement. The tragedies have happened. If you're yes. like us, you could be just as in danger as we are. I, I don't want to re reduce the situation, which was tra lives have been lost. Um, there was technically a terror attack on the facility by these individuals from the woods, and they are being looked for. Um, people on location saw people throwing fireballs and things at this building. Uh, th this this is a an issue here, and I you know I'm not someone who's just going to defend this company, but I will not stand up here and pretend that there is some conspiracy about our lives being in danger by a private I, company that if, if I, I if, if I might I have a, I have a yes. quick question miss miss Wu um, you you uh, did mention that you know you you are part of the community here of Kolok and there's been a lot of mysteriousness and and strangeness how are you doing? Are you willing to share with us in the way that we're sharing with you? Uh, has there been strangeness in your business? As the citizens of Kolok, we've experienced a lot of pain recently. Mm -hmm. I would be very interested to know what you all have been experiencing mm -hmm. so that we could compare notes. Well, thank that, you so much for checking in with me. That I, I, I do appreciate that. I, it's not, it's um, not. And you know, we can, if you want to grab just like a cocktail or something later, I'm Ms. Wu! Definitely. Um, here's, okay, here's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, when you go on a roller coaster and you kind of like try and fight the bends and whipping around, what do you get? You get whiplash. This journey ahead of us as Synchronity partners with Colog is a exciting adventure. And all that we ask is that you give in to the momentum because if you fight it, you, it's... Is everybody excited to die? None of us want to be on this roller coaster. I mean, that's room. the roller coaster of life. I think your time I, is out. I yield the floor. Could Thank I, you. Could I actually ask a follow-up question regarding Seb's question? For yeah. Yeah. Yes, so, please. Um, Ms. Wu, uh, with regards to the attack that we had on, the, on your compound, um, what, since it was all your security and all synchronicity security that took care of this attack, what is their status? Like, did you capture everybody? Did you... Just anything would be helpful for 
I, I have been told by the local police that they are still looking for the individuals. So the, if there's any information you can share from sure. Secret Needy's security team, that would be very helpful. Uh, they are uh, uh, watching and scanning and trying to protect the people of Kolok from these crazed individuals with Molotov cocktails, just throwing them willy-nilly. So what we're trying to do is our presence in this town is because we care about the town of Kola. Is that the cocktail you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Next That's question? a really funny joke. Next question? Yeah, yes, please. Uh, I'm Lynn Mead, and you know, I'm Sweet Mead's Bakery, and uh, these, these men from the woods, is this a cult in our town? Is, is there some voodoo going on in the woods out there that we all should know about? That is, I, I, can I, do you mind if I take this? Of course not, please continue. Um, I, you know, God, that is something that we fear. And you know what? We got to watch out for these crazed cultists that are just out in the woods doing who knows what. And Synchrony Syncroni- is here to, to help, to protect you from these outliers. Oh, why, are there, why are we getting the government? Randy, you want to take this instead? The only cult. The, 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 folks, the, folks the, we're trying to answer your question. The, the only evidence that we have seen so far, which, again, could be boiled down to conspiracy theories, is a group of individuals from the woods calling themselves the Stonemasons. We're responsible for this attack. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the Stonemasons uh, from especially the locals. Uh, I I believe in this instance that that is a a tactic or a tool being used by someone to bring some sort of chaos. Uh, A form. I I, I, live in the woods, yes. It's not now. No, they're not. Excellent question, is he? Okay, okay, enough Please. of that. Uh, you'll, you'll have to forgive you. I've been up to my elbows in flour all day. Who exactly died? Four or five people? Who were they? <laughs> They're... I heard there were some kids. Do we have names? Yes, you... you yes. Most of us here are aware. Um, Marcus Bennett, Sky Hawkins, Billy Baker, Mickey Jones, and Agent Perry Bucket... Uh, yesterday afternoon, as I'm sure a lot of you have heard, uh, this is a long line of tragedies this week that is extremely difficult for anyone to process. Um, is how, how, how they die? I I know some of them from scouting. You know, I helped them out when they were when we're they were trying younger. Trying to get to the bottom of that, or at least as far as I'm aware. City of Kolok. Uh, police department is trying to get to the bottom of that in collaboration with Synchronity's own security detail. That's a great collaboration idea. with the wow, that's smart. That's hilarious. Okay, well, thank, thank you for your question. Let them take control of everything. Hi. I'm Epstein here from the high school. Uh, could you maybe tilt the mic up? Oh, Thank sorry. you. Yes. Uh, I, I work in the library, and um, I know everyone's very upset here. I, w- I want to keep some semblance of civility and politeness, so I, I just want to politely ask you, we, we, we're, clear, we're clearly in danger. We're clearly, we don't know where it's coming from. Yes, I don't know if it's from Synchronini or if it's a, an outside force, but if we're having if we're having terrorist attacks, you have to be, be able to protect us, and we have to be able to do something. And we, we can't just excuse that these kids are dead. These were our friends. Yes. What do you have to say? Yeah, what do you have? They deserve better. This hurts all of us. I, I know Merle is especially uh, upset about everything that has happened. Um, th- there's, there's nothing... I can say that will make any of this better. That will make How anyone are we going feel to stay better. Preparation. I, 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 honestly, I don't. I do not believe uh, that this is any sort of theme or 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 recurring. Uh, th- Wait, when, is, when a terrorist a, attack happens, people we we, we well, respond to that. Folks, I'm trying to be as as polite. I I apologize that I used even that word earlier. I I didn't even want to put that word in your mind. I'm sorry. Okay. I. Oh. It's okay, buddy. I want to keep you safe. 
I'm sorry, I can't do that. Is, I'm, I'm trying to be polite, but we're, we're just kids, and you're the grown-ups, and I just think that you old people suck. Okay, okay. all right. Can, um, can I... Can I yeah, yes, again? please. Folks, okay, with regards to everything that's happened here, okay, we haven't gotten a lot of answers from Synchronate about everything that went down, but it seems like it was somebody who was trying to help the kids or trying to instigate their own agenda here and tried to go around... I, I would like to say, given that there were protests going on, it appears to me that someone was using that anger and rightful anger, honestly, uh, to, to try to stoke even more chaos. Uh, these individuals coming out of the woods, apparently there were two or three. This does not seem like some large operation. I would not doubt if these are kids from a nearby town or something just using the opportunity of people being upset and angry and furthering that agenda. Who was that heartless? Someone was. Secret Yes, I have a question. Yes. How do we know that these cultists aren't some sort of plant that was planted by Synchronity themselves? I have been in the military for five years, yes. and I have seen all sorts of shady tactics by especially shady corporations like them. So what proof do we have that they weren't planted by them themselves? I, I, I feel like that's a, a extreme, extreme... Extreme uh, things are happening right now. I understand right people now. are they, upset. I understand I'm sorry, are upset. I'm sorry, are you saying they murdered two of their... Uh, one of their children? And I mean... I have this... seen worse out on the battlefield. I wouldn't be surprised. The statement that has been made, They're, though it was made extremely cold, was that the individuals who died in that room was the cause of some uh, explosion of an oxygen device or something from a Molotov cocktail. I, I, it seems like a freak accident because it was. And I know that that's hard to accept sometimes, but I think it's important that we remember just moments before the mother of Sky Hawkins and Marcus Bennett were both in that room talking to their children and were asked to leave by a federal agent and the protests got rowdy and the individuals from the woods came out and the next thing we know we're dealing with five deaths. Two individuals lost their kids that day, and I, and I feel honestly ashamed in some of you that this continues to be thrown in some level of, of conspiracy when, when two parents are without their children tonight due yeah, to this. Well, where are they? That's four that's four total, but two, two individuals that were in that room just moments before. That and worked for Synchronity. They, they are members of this town, and they deserve our respect. They deserve the truth. They did a little transparency of our town. And they work for seeing community? And they screwed their children? Wait, I'm confused. Why should we trust them? I told you we should have names. Yeah, I've seen all sorts of freak accidents in the past, and... You've never seen mob mentality? This just doesn't add up. I'm done. I want to hear answers tonight. Agreed. Yes. Back to the old answer. Yes, I mean, this entire meeting. Uh, yes, please introduce yourself. Hi, um, my name is Abby Kaiser. I uh, work at the winery. Um, I'm jarred like everybody else about the things that have happened, and I really wanted to go back the way that it was, but I understand that we have to work through what's going on, and we have to work together. So, um, Miss Wu? Yeah, um, it's I not a like, hard name to say. Or I would like... Um, you know, checks and balances. I would really like you to submit a list of employees where they live and so we can have a little bit more transparency as to what's going on. You can't account for your employees, but you're the only person here. Bring more. We want to see more. It does sound like a witch hunt against synchronicity. Thank you for pointing that out, sir. Um, no. 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 No, you got that wrong. It's not a witch hunt. No, not a 
witch hunt against you. It's mm -hmm. a witch hunt against us, and we want to be protected. At least comply with not our fallen. requests. They are not inhumane for you to like come into our town and do all this stuff to make it a better and go on this roller coaster with you. But mm -hmm. honestly, I just really like you to help submit to figure this out because I am sure. done with how this is going. Sure. Yeah. Um, I would love to submit the names of the people who work for every single employee of Synchronity. However, public safety is at hand. I've seen how riled up you have gotten as a group just at seeing me. How am I to understand that those people will remain safe should they be revealed to you? Oh, are you talking about the town? The people who were unsafe? And now, oh, okay, just, just to be clear, I would not, and no one in this organization would ever reveal the names of citizens of this town to anyone who just asks for it. That's not something that we can do. Tell that and to the people who are dead. Mm. Hi. Yeah. If I may be so bold as to interrupt, we've been talking a lot about public safety. Uh, and could you introduce yourself for the room, please? I introduced myself earlier. My name is Elizabeth Charbonneau. I work for the Colox Sun. Ms. Wu, we were discussing the fact that the town is very concerned about the presence of these people who are responsible for these explosions, the stonemasons, as you claim they are, and they are not in custody. Is, is that correct, Officer Warstone? That's correct. Do we have any positive ID on who these people are, any sort of description of what they look like? Uh, not, not that uh, I'm, I'm aware of. I wonder why that is. Is anyone in custody for four deaths? Yeah. Five deaths. Just sounds a little suspicious to me is all. I know that it sounds suspicious and I know that everyone is upset at the lack of answers and saying prove that you didn't do this. I can't prove that I that that synchronous synchronicity didn't do something. I can't prove a negative. All I can yes. do is tell you that we didn't have anything to do with the what the stonemasons did. Ex Except that these students died while they were in quarantine with synchronicity and who exactly was in charge of that quarantine? Uh, it would be, uh, it was, it was one of the children's parents, uh, and if they did, yes, one, one of, and if, and if they did, and if they did, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett, and if Mr. and Mrs. Bennett, uh, urged, and their son is dead, please, people, have some decency in this situation. I understand you're angry, but people have lost their children. We're not angry at them. We're angry at you. We're not the ones without the heart. We're the ones without the truth. Those children mean a lot more to more people in this town than just their parents. The people just want some answers, Miss Wu. I uh, have been giving them, and I, I wish that they would fall on ears that were listening. Uh, I, I, I do. Wish we were getting the truth. I, I wish that you believed what I was saying, and then that's pretty much all I, I can say. I wished I believed what you were saying too, but it sure seems like synchronicity is out of control of a lot of things these days. Yeah. Yeah. You get it, bro. Go, bro. Yeah. Sync synchronicity wouldn't be here with a statement if they didn't have something to say, whether that statement has any substance in it. Yes, yeah, so far they seem to have said nothing. Do you, do you have any more questions? No, that'll be all. Thank so, you. So we're not going to... It's not a... We're not... My kids are hurting, okay. all right? All right. My, my kid, my son is hurting. Mm -hmm. His best friend okay. died. I'm... I tried to be... Wow! I tried to be civil. Okay, I... I was trying to comfort you. Mr. Thomas and Miss Hall and Counselor Julie... And all the kids, this is a family here. We want, all the people want is answers, and we want to do it in a concise and orderly way. And if you don't know anything, then you need to find someone who does. Because this, otherwise, we're just wasting time before the snowstorm rolls in. I'm sorry, Randy. I'm sorry. I, I understand. Yes, you have a question. So my name is OC. Friends know me as Oliver Clover. It's what all of you guys will know me as. But my thing is, how come you guys can't give us direct answers 
when there's even people at other companies that literally can give us notes down to the detail of what's going on there. What are the new changes? What's going on? Oh, like, for instance, when like the gas fire happened in our town, we got notifications of everybody who was in the hospital, who was affected, what was going to be done. But you guys have done nothing of the sort to kind of give us any type of answers to kind of help us to help ease the fact of some of the stuff that we've lost here with the people that we lost, the questions that haven't been answered, the weird stuff that's happening in our town, the moment that you guys showed up. What's going on with that? I, I, I would like to exactly. point out here, uh, not necessarily something that I like, but Synchronity is a privately traded company um, and not a... So does that mean they keep their secrets? Uh, yes. Technically, yes. Uh, they... they so they move to our small town so they can easily sweep every other crime and stuff that they do under the rug, and we're fine with that. Synchronity is technically one of Kolok's greatest products. It, w it was formed by individuals who lived in this town, and it has grown to be much more than that in a worldwide corporation, but it is what put this city on the map. So you want to protect them? I, I am not saying that they need to be protected. What's the point of the council if they can't keep them in check? I... I, again, I would like to ask in this situation, what is it that you are saying they have done? What I see is, yes, an accident has happened where people have died technically on their watch, and we deserve answers for that. But I will not go so far as to stand up here and say that they are somehow responsible or, in fact, doing something to cause that harm to them. Give people. us answers to show that they're not responsible. That is we're, what we're, we're here on, tonight. We're working on that. Who doesn't have if somebody who's either working, who doesn't have a relative or a friend or a family member who doesn't work at Synchronity. Uh, uh, okay, I find that hard to believe. I know there are people in this room who work for Synchronity and, and that it almost... And there's people in this room that work for the FBI that you haven't told us the question. You haven't there's us not. The question. I can guarantee you of that. There, There is not. All right, we... Okay, I, I would like to ask you to, to please take, take, take a seat if you don't mind. Are, are there any other questions anyone else that would like to ask a question driver i have a question yes do i believe that miss wu actually knows anything and is hiding it or is just here as a mouthpiece with a statement with no further information i would like to have you roll your brains in this situation uh, difficulty of 12 that's a 15 plus one uh, yes, I would say in this situation, uh, given Merle's current predicament, it, you would find it extremely hard to find anything to trust in Miss Wu and find most of her answers completely unsatisfactory. And that anything that she has to say is not in the well interest of the town, but only for herself. Do I, do I get the sensation that that is in a professional capacity only, or do I feel like perhaps there is something else she knows? Um, I will let you play that however you see fit, given that you succeeded that role. Are there any more questions out there? Uh, anyone that would like to ask a question? Uh, it's uh, not really a question. It's just a, what, what kind of country are we in? I thought we were in America, and a, com and a company can just pull up kids. Up the you know, the law enforcement is supposed to do that and take them out of the houses and bring them somewhere for quarantine. What kind of place are we that does the corporation can do that? Do they have a security bigger than ours or something? Do they run this town instead of us? Guarantee it. Why weren't the cops involved in that? The, the police were involved as far as I'm aware. Uh, the police were there when this happened. The police were the first on the scene. And uh, they will, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they will probably be re releasing a police report when more information um, is available, and we, the, it's an ongoing case, trying to figure out everything that's going on. Like I said, it was the uh, parents of the late Marcus Bennett, uh, Mr. and Ms. Bennett, who notified the authorities and the rest of Synchronity on the scene that there was something inside the house that was of great danger, and that immediate action needed to be taken. Um, that, that is as far as all we know, unless you'd like to add anything. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Is, is there anything else you could share, uh, given what Synchronini may have learned about the uh, Jane of Grace's house and whatever harmful agent may have been present? How it got in there? 
Mm. We are actively uh, we are actively investigating the uh, exact source of the harmful chemicals. Uh, we uh, are working as best we can to make sure that this does not begin to affect your town as a whole. Um, how did she have <laughs> these chemicals have a name? How did she have the chemicals? Uh, that information is classified. What chemicals? What chemicals? You said you're, you're working to make sure that the chemicals mm-hmm. don't affect our livelihood. So what you're saying is that they are out and about in Kolok as we speak. Uh, at this moment, we are at a uh, 100% success rate as of now. Could you please elaborate for all of us? Uh, all of us here, what you mean by... Uh, that you, that you can't share uh, the information of whatever was found in that house? Uh, it, it would be uh, outside of the uh, public interest for me to share that information. But this is the public interest. This is the public interest. What can you tell us? Anything? That... Yes, we do keep a lot of secrets. <laughs> we do keep a lot they of do. secrets. The first um, true thing no, please, we. Night. What can you tell us? That we are in that moment, working. as the tensions are rising high, the door opens in the side of this quite hot and steamy room as a group of three individuals make their way inside. One of which you recognize immediately. Uh, please continue in towards the microphone if you don't mind. Uh, the owner of the Honeybee Cafe, as well as two individuals that some of you might recognize, though you have a hard time putting some sort of understanding on this situation. Uh, can I yes, can I uh, get them a chair, please? Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. Um, is is that? No no no. Hold, hold on hold on. It, it, is that, uh, um, um, uh, can I please just get them a chair? There is, we've been through a blizzard. We have come through, uh, some craziness out there, and I just need them to sit down, please. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, I, um, uh, hi, everyone. Sorry, uh, Emerson uh, Kelly. Emerson, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, is the, uh, I, um, I, is that uh, is it, Rachel it, and Lenny uh, Jewel? Wait, how's this? Can you call it conspiracy theories yeah, now? What? Yes. What? Um. um Ha, uh, has, has Tara been made uh, aware of uh, the um, pos- uh, the reason but, but the room might be under some confusion in this given instance is there's a little bit of a paradox going on here. Some individuals can remember not long ago an individual by the name of Rachel Jewell and perhaps her younger brother Lenny Jewell. But it wasn't until as of recently, around seven hours ago, that they were able to remember that they, in fact, even existed. But this conundrum, this paradox, comes from the fact that they also, too, know, some of them, that they died in 1980 in a car accident. So, sorry for the confusion, but it's understandable. Uh, yes, please, please. Uh, yes, it was, it was just uh, last... Uh, uh, just last Tuesday, I, I was, I was getting ready to close up for the night, and I thought I heard uh, raccoons out by the garbage can again. And I went back, and I, and I found these two, uh, shivering in the cold, uh, by the dumpster, and uh, uh, terrified of wondering where their parents were. I took them in, and I, I gave them food, and uh, uh, I couldn't understand anything that uh, Lenny was saying, but. Uh, Rachel, um... Uh, I'm sorry, so when you, when, you, when you found them, you didn't know they were... I didn't know who they were. If, if that makes sense, um... It, I, it, do, it doesn't, but it, it kind of well, no, does. I, I, 
this is gonna sound crazy, but I just, I just, I brought them here because I want answers for them and I want answers for me. Please, continue. Well, I saw these kids and, well, I had reason to believe that their names were Angela and Tommy on Tuesday. Uh, Angela, after I took them in, I let them stay in the guest room in my house. Uh, I couldn't, I don't know who their parents were. Uh, Angela started to help out around the, the diner, the honeybee, and well, she, she seemed real keen on helping out with me, and... I remember that. I remember... I'm there. Yeah, Vincent's there. Yeah, I'm the cook. She was helping. But then she... It, was that her? That's her, yeah. But then... But then today... It's... Today at noon, all of a sudden, I was getting ready for the for the, the lunchtime rush, taking a few of, of the cherry pies out of the oven, sticking them in the, in the rotator, and, um... All of a sudden, I remembered seeing them. I, I remembered seeing them younger with, with Jacob and, and his wife eating at my diner because you know what her order is. I never forget, and you all know this, I never forget an order. Vincent knows this, and I, and I remembered that Rachel Jewel always ordered a cheeseburger with three pickles on the bottom bun and it was so specific and I knew that memory was mine and as soon as I saw her today I knew that was Rachel but then my mind was racked with the the idea that I also knew that they died that Jacob and well his family passed away there, there oh, was the, the car accident the car accident yeah. Did you see when they were there at noon last week at noon I thought at noon, too. I thought at noon. Yeah. Would you, uh, Rachel and Lenny, is there anything you'd like to say? Or? Is that really who you are? Well, Rachel, Rachel, I have, I'm trying to get her to talk. Um, uh, she knows what I'm saying. I know that. But, um, and then, and then uh, Lenny, I just, um, Lenny, come on. Uh, just please, do, do you remember Jacob? I know. I've been asking him this all day. I've been asking him this all day. Lenny, do you know Jacob, please? Oh, I've been there. Oh, Does anyone know, know what he's saying? Yeah. I, I, I don't. You, you know what I'm saying? Sick tank. You can stand up. Okay. You know where you are? I don't know. What's he saying? What are you yeah, what he, he, saying? He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't. Oh, hey, Tommy. He goes from oh, his sister. Oh, he says he's Tommy. Angela. No, Tommy. And his sister, Angela. Um, that's that's all. Doesn't. I don't know how they can be Tommy and Angela, but also Rachel and Lenny. Also dead and alive? Lady Hypinko. Head trauma. Maybe ask the doctor. Uh, okay. Yeah. Doctor uh, yes. Ronnie, is there any? Uh, um, uh, uh, Where's Tess? Get Tara. I, yes. We'll uh, we'll we'll try to. Um, Listen, I, I know what's happening with those other kids, and I just want to make sure that these kids are kept safe, because I don't I don't know what's going on here. I just I just want to make sure our kids are safe. That's all I want. Obviously, they got away. Do you want to say something cold and heartless, Miss Wu? Uh, no, I I I, uh, I, I feel for these uh, uh, children. Um, I just you know why don't we why don't we you know you you all loved this so much before. Why don't you line up and and tell me how much you hate hate me? It's, it's, why don't we do that? Stop thinking about this, and why don't we just? Why don't we just talk? Why don't we just talk? About this? All right, everybody. I just want to make you happy, and what seems to make you all happy was to tell me about how much you hate me. No one's telling you how much we hate you. How is this possible? No. Are y'all gene slicing or stuff there? You said you could, you could, you could talk with, with, with him. Um, Mr. The, the, uh, the, the firefighter, I didn't recognize. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't uh, know your name. I apologize. But you said you could. What was it? What was your name again? Sean. Sean. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, 
you said you could um, talk with talk with them. Talk Roughly, with him. My Cantonese is a little rough, but he seems to understand what can, I'm saying. Can you can you can you ask him a question for me? Sure. Can you ask him if he recognizes who I am? Either of us. Either of us. Or or anyone. Anyone. Does do they recognize anyone in this room? No, they, they don't recognize Where have they anyone. been? Ew, what take, take a good look. Make sure. Yeah, I told you they showed up. You, you, you said Tuesday? Tuesday, Tuesday night. Um, Wait, you and kids show up on Tuesday and you didn't tell anyone about it? Well, I was trying to look for their parents. You put them to work in your cafe. No, I did not put them to work in my Calm cafe. Calm down. And How is she the villain in this? Let's just try and sort this out and just stay calm. I can't okay? believe I'm agreeing with you. Take care of it now if we get their parents. Well, well Jacob parents. is, yeah, no longer. It, it, Jacob, not, it's, it's still fresh. The night that Jacob. Yes. When, when, when did you say that uh, they they came, you saw them on Tuesday? Tuesday night. Okay. They showed up. I I heard them out back, and um, I didn't know who they were. I I didn't know who they were on Tuesday, but I know who they are today. And I just want them taken care of. All right. Um, I, th this is un... I, I don't even know how to... Uh, I, I, I know that that's Rachel and Lenny, even though they say that they're not. I, I, I too, um, earlier today, experienced a similar sensation. Um around 12 p.m. Uh, and you is... Uh, I, I, I didn't know how to explain it necessarily. Um, I, I just as assumed I was conf confused because uh, I, I, I do remember very clearly when Jacob's family died uh, so many years ago, but I do remember um, Rachel and Lenny uh, being around even these council meetings with Tara for, for years. Uh, Tuesday night, Jacob Jones dies and his children. <laughs> the representative from Synchroneity reaches into her bag and pulls out a device. Now, I'm assuming you'd like to use your special kind of ability in this situation. Mm -hmm. It would require the use of five tokens. Uh, it appears that there are 15. Oh, I think that'll work. Yes, so five tokens for the use of your ability. In doing so, as she pulls this device out from her bag and lifts it up into the air, every individual in this room who currently has ten fingers is frozen in time and space. They have no recollection of what happens next, what is said, and time stops for them. Everyone in this room who currently has nine fingers sees this, recognizes that everyone has stopped, and is definitely confused, but she has the attention of the room. Uh, I would also like to say in this instance, the other two individuals that are not currently affected by this, who may or may not have nine or ten fingers, as we have not discussed it, would be Rachel and Lenny as well. But uh, you are also able to move and understand what's happening uh, as much as you possibly could. But continue. G GM clarification. Can I? Can we see who is frozen from where we are? You would be able to see that people have stopped in motion. Okay. Let's cut the shit, shall we? What yeah. the fuck? If you can hear me right now, it is because you are compromised. And by compromised, I mean that your lineage, your ancestors, made a deal with the dark forces below to keep the town as it is. What the fuck are you talking about? deal not been made by your blah 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 savior Shiloh and Na, you can guarantee that you would not exist right now. This woman was Rachel, but she is not anymore because her debt was not paid. Her father broke a deal. Now she is a shell, a lost girl. You were all born this way, paying off a debt made years ago. What do you think happens if you don't live up to your end of the bargain? If you keep making a stink of all this, you br if you bring any unwanted attention on this town or my employer, Synchroneity, will bargain with Ma Mamon to Mammon? 
Mamon, to cancel your contracts, all of you nine fingered freaks will cease to exist. Wiped out, your entire lineage and history erased from time and space. This storm, this is your doing. You are all poking the bear, and our perfect little town's reality is crumbling. So please do kindly shut the fuck up and help us keep this town in order. Kids in the back, if this is all news to you, sorry, your ancestors were dicks. Not my or my employer's problem. Um, this is a cult. She's using no, some no, sort of chemical. No. no. I, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to let those of you who can hear me know... This is, uh, serious. Randy, oh, come on. I... You think? You knew? Are they okay? A lot of you knew you just didn't want to admit. I'm sure you've heard stories from your parents or your grandparents about things that have happened, but I, th- there is a debt for all of us who are natives of this town, and we have to end up to our end of the deal. If you don't, things will get much worse. Um, you, you said if that used to be Rachel, but now it's not, because Jacob didn't live up to his end of the bargain. So think about how this affects everybody. Think about the people you care about and think about yourself. Ronnie, if you have something to say, I want you to say it. You know as much as I do about this town and its history. Now, Jacob, he came to us and he talked about this. This was his decision, okay? We, we, we turned him down, though. We, we, yeah. we decided that that was not... That's why he was removed from the council. Right. It's hard enough keeping this city safe as are, it is. Are you saying the deal went through? This is exactly what we are trying to keep from happening. What information are you withholding from yeah, this what, are you you what the fuck, Ronnie? I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. I'm saying he was his own man, and he made his own decision. I couldn't stop him. No one could stop him. You know what he was like. What did Jacob do? Yeah, or didn't do. He, he asked the council for permission after his children died in the car accident to go to secret meeting with an experimental procedure that would bring his kids back. We denied the request and advised otherwise, but apparently just now learning that that is not what happened, which would explain the confusion I'm currently feeling. Are you telling me those are reanimated bodies? Are you telling me that's something they can do? They can just bring people back to life? What that's a thing now? What, what are you So Synchronity went against the council's decision. Synchronity is making decisions about this town without the uh, I, safety. Uh, but but let, it, let, let, it, let us not forget, though, the, the key... Um, point of her very blunt statement that we also, whether we remember it or not, or our ancestors anyway, made a deal as well. And the same thing that happened to Jacob could happen to us if we don't live up to our end of the bargain. But they haven't lived up to their end of the bargain. Which... Let... Are we supposed to... Do you think this is isolated? That we're having a snowstorm for the first time in how long? I what is our yeah, what's our sacrifice worth if they're not living up to are their own? They are... Uh, they... How long have we had peace? How long have we had peace? You can tell us. We can see you. We're all in on It's up to her. What do you want me to do about this? I mean, the cat's out of the bag. You might as well just tell us. I mean, it sounds like you need to on your side. Hide um, We're expected to pay the price. You, you should know what the price is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your, some time. You better use it. Your ancestors, everyone in this room that currently has, or that can even hear this conversation, was it not supposed to exist? Pardon? 
What? We are the product of a deal that was made a long time ago between Shiloh and Nam and what is now known as Synchronity. Um, what was it? We have fought for years to stop these procedures from happening and have advised against them, but apparently they are still happening. Unaware, uh, we are unaware of how they're able to do that without us knowing. This is new, but we, our ancestors were dead, basically. Uh, a accident, a crash, meteorite. Um, all of us that can currently hear this conversation were at one point um, lineage from that crash uh, of the dead and Shiloh and Ah, the founder of our town, had found those bodies and somehow brought every one of them back to life, but it came at a cost. And apparently that cost has to be repaid over the next 200 years. Um, that's why Everyone born in Kolok, whose family was born in Kolok, and their family before them is born with nine fingers. It is the price we pay towards that end. And until that price is paid, we are still currently under, um, we, are, we are still under that deal's binding agreement. Uh, I, I did not choose this either. we're in debt. Yes. If we don't pay this debt, we're... We cease to exist. How many more years? At least another hundred. Uh, your your so children you paid it. will... You, we, we're we, paying we paid, it. Yes, we, we are paying it. We are currently paying it. We have. Uh, but your children will pay it as well, and their children as well, until it's the dead. It's a finger. Is that it's, it's, a it's a finger. It's just a finger. It's a finger. It's you just have nine more. Or several lives. What about the four children? Or, or the town's gone. They did it for us. Like, so how did Jacob break that deal? Yeah, what are you uh, Jacob didn't your break bad? that deal. Jacob yeah, yeah, made please, another please, deal. Please, please, and enlighten us. Uh, if you'd like to share any more. Uh, as, as I know, the council uh, did not approve of any, any actions that would continue to do things like this. This, this is not what we wanted. I can't share any more. What if we leave Kola? The deal is still binding. It's you. It's not like you regrow your finger. Are we required to have children? No. No. Why didn't Singer kill the kids? Then? I. They don't know what this has to do with that. Mm -hmm. but did you kill them? Did they find something out? Is that part Question of the deal? Question to GM. Yes. Uh, do I know the answer to this? Please uh, roll your stamp for brains. D20. Difficulty of 14. That is. 3 plus 1. A 3 plus 1. Mm -hmm. I will not allow you to use tokens again in this instance given the amount that you have already used. <laughs> That's our town's tokens. In this situation. <laughs> As the PR representative, you are as in the dark as everyone else is, but you know what you're supposed to repeat. Okay. Look, all I know is that you will repay the debt. You always have. You always will. But Jacob's deal. That, that Jacob made a separate deal. Jacob made a separate deal that had nothing to do with the deal that we are all currently under. And, and uh, the, but the, the, I'm I'm I will make a deal. I want to save myself. Can we make a deal? Is it, what, 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 why is our deal not this? What, what do we have to do to get back to the deal? I, I, yeah, I don't know. She's making the terms here. Yeah, You're like saying that, that we. Can we bring people back? No. Yeah. Can you make uh, me famous? I don't think these are the no. right questions. Uh, We're being threatened right now that if we do not fall in line, Synchronity will cancel our agreement, which means we cease to exist. So there's more to this deal than just our fingers. Yeah. We're alive because of the deal. Is there, like, is it written out somewhere so we can, like, read it? Yeah, like, how are we breaking your shit? rules? Shiloh and all made the deal originally, and as the founder of this town, 
when he died, everything went into the possession of his daughter, who is the founder and head of Synchronity Tech. Listen, all we have to do to keep going with the deal is just keep living. That's all it is. So why are we being What do we have to change? Yeah, like, what are we doing wrong? How do we, how do we move forward? Don't rock the boat. Keep. Remember what I said about Whiplash? How come you guys weren't listening? Just stay on the ride. Go with the flow. If you feel an urge to comply with something, follow that urge. Stop fighting so much or you end up dead. Yeah, is that what that happened to the kids? Look, everyone, we knew they were dead. We knew the kids were dead from from the car accident, and they're saying they're not even who they were. So as far as we're concerned, these people here, they're new people. You know, the kids are dead. It was the most heartbreaking thing. The, the, these two, they're not them. So it's, it's different people. So... You know, nothing's changed. And what about you know, Jacob's, Jacob's Tara's gonna still, know. She's not here right now, and she's, we just need to get everything back on track. I don't Tara lost her husband and got her kids dying. back. I don't see how that's a problem. I feel like we're off the press a lot. Apparently, it's not that we should have been Yeah, but it's not. Yes, we were never supposed to be alive in the first place, if not for this deal. Uh, I can promise you that I will be trying to get to the bottom of how many more deals have been made without our knowledge within the city limits of Kolok. Um, I do expect to speak to your supervisors and form a report for everyone in this room that this truly matters to. Um, These additional deals are rocking the boat. Like, we, have we don't. We're being accused of rocking the boat. But it wasn't for these other if, they hadn't done it, if, they were, if we hadn't attacked them, attack. Attack. What? They didn't attack themselves. Why would they? They want the status quo to keep going. Or do they? Or do Maybe they? What are you talking you. about? It doesn't Can, sound like they want the status quo to keep going if they're the ones who helped bring these children. Yeah. It sounds that, like what do you mean, the bring deal the? On us. Okay. To, you, the deal, as it was originally explained to me many years ago. I, I, am I, am I allowed to share this information? You Is can this? do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Jacob told us that though his family was dead, that death was not the end. And Synchronity, with the help of some outside financial institution, could provide a restart um, a lot of this had been forgotten to me, and I have no record of it in my notes, and it was not until about Tuesday morning that I even remembered this. It's funny how that keeps happening. But in that instance, he said something about them finding the personalities of his kids, and... Placing them in the bodies of individuals who were of similar age and likeness, and we aggressively denied this request, and we aggressively denied any interactivity to proceed with synchronity in this way, and asked him to hand in his resignation. To be clear, we did not approve of this, but apparently the deal went through. And apparently that is what we are now realizing happened. And whatever debt he owed was not paid, so Rachel and Lenny were taken back. Was the vote unanimous? Yes. I have a suggestion. But I do wonder, though, how Tara, as a council member, would have not been aware, given that she went on to raise these kids. So... Maybe there were things happening that we were unaware of. So these kids are not, in fact. Rachel and Lenny, though they were for around 10 years, whoever they are, I guess, is whatever is the result of maybe who they were. I don't know. What the fuck, Randy? I don't know. 
I didn't make the deal. So we're supposed to pretend that everything is okay, and to our neighbors who aren't cursed, we're supposed to make them believe that everything is normal? Can you, lady with the suit, it'll be a lot easier to push this narrative if maybe if you acted just a little bit human. How are we supposed to explain this to them? We can't. You can't. Well, how can we explain the dead children, the five dead? I, I, it's an investigation, an ongoing investigation. I, again, this is not. Question. We are being threatened right now because we're trying to make an accusation against Synchronity for doing something in this instance when, when when there is no evidence to prove that that is what's happening. We have to keep moving forward with our investigation on the death of the individuals and and continue to relay information as we find it. And if they're responsible, we'll deal with that when it happens we have our excuse terrorists that's like we have that. i'm not so i'm not talking about excuses i'm, I'm looking talking for about, answers i'm talking about for them to what to tell the people around them they don't believe that it's terrorists maybe they they'll believe people maybe forget. they'll believe if you believe look you are all on not your time this is you've got a deal you need to stick to it it sucks. It's not fair. There is no fair. There's only is. So fucking deal with it. I, this is how we survive, people. All right? I'm not happy about this. I've, I'm not happy about it. None of us I, are happy about this. This deal looks like it's above everyone. Right? Yes. I mean, there's, there's nothing that we can really do to... Our... Our ancestors many years ago were a part of this without our knowledge. I mean, I hate to say it, but we kind of have to. We kind of have to. I mean, what, what, what choice do we have? No, 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 no. no. Deals can always be dying. renegotiated. People are already dying. Yeah. Clearly something needs to change to stop the This isn't something yeah. a lawyer can fix. This... Well, if we can all see the deal, maybe we can come to new terms. Mm -hmm. We just need to write it out. We've read it out this far. It's been taking fingers for... Why does Zinger need to be? No, I don't think it's... I think it's more than fingers. Yeah, Jacob, clearly. It, it seems like he... he yes, it is more than fingers. Soul. But that's, that's something that else. That's Jacob's his deal. Thing. We don't know what his deal was. But Shiloh's like, deal was each of us, the direct lineage of the individuals who were brought back many years ago, pay only a finger. That's it. And you may not understand this, not consciously, but you do. This is the first storm we've had in over a hundred years. We have unreasonably, uncategorically warm winters and mild. So we live in a paradise. We live in a paradise. And we get to reap the benefits of the, the advancement technologically of, of synchronicity and all the money that they bring in in the winery that brings in half of this town's revenue most of you live tax-free this is well you may not want to address these benefits that we've been living with for many many years but we have them we experience them day in and day out and I for one would, would like to continue with my life as, as I know it well, so we just give up our personal freedoms and everything's fine well the only difference is now you're aware you don't have yeah. them. how bad has your life been up to this point uh, the last I week, was the last week, pretty bad. Bit. The last so week, bad. Bad. Been a lot. Eight Fuck this week. One, one week. In how long? Fifty-six years. How long has it been? If we are in paradise, why are deaths happening all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. I, 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 that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of, and try to figure out. So I would appreciate. Given the unusual situation that we've been put in by synchronicity, mm. that we at least for now, fall in line. Well, we can try and reach out through, like, We will be other trying channels. to reach out. I mean, not just for, like, we can go to other people, is what I'm saying. But I would prefer we yeah. speak of those things when sure. their representative is not here. Can we shelve this matter? Those of us in, our, in this room who are aware for a moment when we can speak of it on our own terms. Should, um, I'll keep your secret. Should I, I want a new deal. Make me famous. 
make me a movie that's star. That's not how that works. I don't think any. I can't help. I have, with I have, that. A, I have a, I a point of personal reference. What about them? You could bring my kids. Just dying first, and then worry about stardom later. Here's the thing. You're not in a bargaining place. You're. Boo fucking who. Life is hard, but guess what? You've got fucking life, and you shouldn't. In that moment, after making her point, she brings the device back up to her ear and brings everyone out of their pause state, where they believe the conversation to be continuing exactly where it had left off. This is utter bullshit. You've got to give us some answers to this. Yes. All right, I think we're good. Uh, you can all breathe. So, so uh, if we're all in a agreement uh, to, to we, we will be bringing this uh, meeting storm's um, getting bad yeah, this, uh, the yeah. storm is getting quite bad outside so wait we're gonna bring the meeting to us no answers on what we have reached out to give us time to get more I'm answers I'm happy to take care of these kids but I have to have answers I have to give them something I we, need help uh, we're gonna do the we best can we can care. we can take care of them we, we can take action. care of we can take care of the two children and we can we can do what we can to okay, make sure can we get everyone's some answers care. to the consequences we'll have to figure that out as we take care of it no no of course not Colock is gonna protect its own that's what we're gonna do because we're a family. Yeah, they promise. In that moment, a loud drag of friction is heard on the roof of the building. You hear it scraping along the tin as it falls down the side. A pause as silence falls over the room. As a loud boom rings from outside, followed by a sudden pop as the lights go out. Oh, oh, what? Uh, oh, right. uh, everyone, oh, really? oh, no, please, oh, oh, oh. please remain calm. Everyone, please. More stones. Uh, More stones. Uh, just, no, no, everyone, no, 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 please, please, everyone stay in your seats. Uh, uh, please remain calm. Uh, the, the, I'm sure the backup generators will be coming on momentarily. It's a little convenient uh, that that just happened. No, no, We're in a just, storm, guys. I'm sure the generators are coming on... Uh, there. What was that? Oh, okay, there, 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 you go. There, we go. Oh, good. Oh, good. Everybody, calm down. Just sit down. We're in the middle of a storm. Just calm down. Everybody. Many of the individuals in the room become restless. Some of them, even making their ways towards the back exit and the front exit, only to find that the exits have, in fact, been stuck. Something is blocking hey, the exit from the outside. A general panic takes over the crowd. Hold on, hold on. What was that noise? The, the doors aren't locked. That we're we're apparently barricaded in. The blizzard has gotten quite bad. I just just please remain calm. We we are in a very safe place. Uh, the, the fire department is one of the, the safest places you could probably be in this situation. Just please, just please re re remain calm. Everyone. I've got bread rising. Uh, it's got a too. It's, right. it's, it's not the lock, it's probably barricaded. It, we're, we're barricaded inside, the, the, the doors are blocked. Uh, something must have what was been that knocked over. What was that noise I, 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 something probably fell over uh, due to the storm. Just please remain calm, uh, everyone. Uh, the general kind of consensus of the room is that, in fact, no one is remaining calm. At least, for the most part, people begin making their way around the room. A general mutter kind of goes over as people are generally finding a way to deal with the current stress of the situation. Right, look, I understand that we're locked in here. It's probably going to have an explanation. But first and foremost, don't think that you get out of your answers, Ms. Wu. It's not Damn right! right. It's not I'm totally just right saying, purpose. we may be in the middle of this blizzard. Hey, back off. No, you let yep. the man speak. We've spoken for hours already. Just leave her alone. Let's figure out a way to get out of this storm. We are... We need to handle the immediate situation. Does anybody have like a radio or, or anything we could listen to? Is this happening all over the town? Is this just here? Officer, you want to help us out here? No radio. No radio. No radio. Officer, take control of the situation. Now, I was going to have him roll for that situation, but he appeared to answer it for me. There are apparently no radio communications outside of the building. Maybe it was a tower that was knocked over. Who knows? Would it be possible to make a brains roll to see if there's any communication that I might be able to 
get through. I have a computer Please science. Roll your brain's difficulty of 14. Okay. And this is a plus three. Nah. That is a critical failure. That's <laughs> a one, yes. General panic begins to set in for you. You find yourself unable to breathe. Now, though you seem to be quite strong in composure, the situation where you don't have the answers and are unable to find any situation out of your current predicament makes you have to take a seat as you collect your breath, trying to find a way to deal with the current situation. I just want to sit down for a minute. It's all right. No, look, do you want the doctor to look at you? I'm all right. Oh, that's all right. Great idea. Why don't you smoke that cigarette you have in your meeting? Yeah, thanks a lot for the help. Welcome. Oh, fire. Fire, my dog. Fire? 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 As the panic sets in, naturally you find that certain individuals have formed small groups as they've made their way around the room. Groups of possibly like-minded individuals as they commiserate over their general misery together. Let's check in on some of them. We need to get out of here. Uh, this is, whatever's happening here, I'm telling you right now, whatever's happening here, this isn't natural. And it isn't right, those kids should be dead. And she's sitting right over there. Oh yeah, yeah, she's got all the answers, she's just not saying shit. It's true, she hasn't given us a straight answer this entire time. Maybe, maybe if we talk to her, Oh, that, I now, we to try to to her. I mean, she I know, can't go anywhere. She's in here with us. It's true. We've got her cornered. We could maybe get some Actually, information yes. out of her. Actually, if we corner her, <laughs> it's, it's Ms. Sharp, right? Elizabeth? Charbonneau. Charbonneau. Yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. And I'm sorry about the blondie comment earlier. That's, I didn't know who you were. You were all right. Nice. Rude. Um, what, what do you know from outside? Like, you, you came in here looking for answers for your paper, of right? Of course, yes, because people want to know answers. I think that, if anything, this city council meeting tonight proves that. We need to get the truth out to the people. It's very evident to me that synchronicity is probably behind all of this. Probably. Definitely behind all of this. I never trusted them, not for a second. No. As the group continues trying to find some way to tie this all to synchronicity, we'll check in on another group. Yeah, and it's probably the pot was probably just like hitting the ground. Or a breaker or something. I just, I don't think you guys' infrastructure is really built for this kind of thing. I mean, no, I'm I don't new, think it is but it sounds like you guys haven't had a storm in a while, I've right? Never heard anything sound like that. How can we find out what's out there? How many blizzards? You've got experience breaking out of places, too, you know? I just want to go home to save people. That's why I'm um, out. Do you mind rolling a brains for me? Difficulty of 12. Which one's 8? That's going to be your brain. Uh, that's a two, but you do have 20 tokens available. And it's a very easy roll for you to succeed if you would like to. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to move forward. Sure. Okay. Would you like to use right up to the amount? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Please remove uh, eight, uh, ten tokens, if you don't mind, from that for me. As a volunteer firefighter, you've worked in this building quite a bit. You do know that there's a hatch on the top of the building that does lead to the outside. It's probably covered in quite a bit of snow, but there are alternative ways out, as well as where all the axes are stored and things like that. Okay. Um, you definitely need to lay out a plan. I am aware that there is a hatch on the roof that we can get out of. However, the blizzard is very, very dangerous, so we need to make sure we at least have layering. Yes, layers Layers are important. If we don't have enough, we need to rethink our plan. We can't get out of the doors on the ground. How are we going to get out of the roof if there's so much snow up there? The school principal, the school principal interjects the group, appearing to have something... I'm sorry to interrupt. Hi, everyone. Um, I know this is a difficult time, but I, I, I need you, uh, Mr. North. Um, we don't have any way of talking with the kids, um, so if I, I see you guys were handling a plan, um, so um, if you could pick someone to finish that up, we really need you. There is equipment down the hall. We take stock of that. We need to figure out everything that we have before we take any action. 
Thank you so much, everyone. Let's follow them. Blankets, maybe? Food? Yeah, we will we'll, we'll, we'll find that as well. I'm gonna get the power be quick. I don't know how much longer these people are going to last. I know. I, they might start hurting each We'll try. Well, the backup generator is moving in. The firefighter makes his way over to the corner to talk to the kids, who seem quite frightened by everything that has happened. Granted, they have no memory of the situation they're currently in, or any idea what could be going on, and it appears that the rest of the council is quite interested in this conversation as well. Given the general uh, confusion and loudness of the room, you'll have to make sure that you speak up. So Why don't you ask them if they want to go home or something? Well, how would they get home? Just ask if they want to go home. Mixed, mixed reviews. Okay. 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 They, they just, they just want to be safe. They're a little scared now. We just need to give them a little space and keep things as calm as possible. Just let them know it's the storm and we're just waiting it out to get out. Someone's coming, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And so you're sure that you have no recollection of all of anything, nothing? I don't know if that's important for this blizzard right now, but I think... What time is it going to yeah, they, they don't understand anything. Anyone is safe right now. I think if we can keep them calm, keep them safe, if we can keep everyone safe. Yes. So we of, can of get course. out of here, yeah, that's always a safe matter. Um, yes, the safety of the of the of the You know, you're in okay. this too. Kids. You're in this too. Yeah, oh absolutely. You know absolutely yes. And maybe you wouldn't have so much sure. to worry about if you had been a little nicer to mm -hmm. all of the town's members who are quite upset. Yeah, why don't you ask them that? Do we have a do we have a mirror? I don't know. Does anyone have a mirror? The reflection, the photo. Mirror. Maybe we would like to figure out a plan to As they continue wondering whether or not that is something they should move forward on. I'm gonna have you roll for that. You believe you have one in your purse. So please roll your brains for me. Difficulty of six. Yes, of course. If you'd like to transfer that over to the other group, please do so. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't she know did what find one. Going to do. Just gonna just, which is odd. Well, thank you. Thank you. As that is handed over, we do move very shortly over to this other group who's having a conversation of who knows what. I guess we'll find out. So we're working. Okay, so we need to work together. We need to bring everybody together. As a community. Yeah. Yeah. Community. Yeah. 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 What makes us strong? I'll That's what do, matters. I'll do. Uh, Wine Wednesdays, so that everybody, you know, commiserates on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we bring it all together, maybe they'll all strengthen. Another thing we need to also figure out is maybe some way that we can meet them on the middle. They're not giving us anything. Secret Navy's not giving us anything at all. And it's back to where they work before we can negotiate. If we try to convince them to our side, though, they're going to think that we're, like, part of this. That is true. We need to go back to regular first. Because regular first, we all have to speak up or we can't hear you. I'm sorry. We gotta go back to regular life, get it back to the deal as it was. Convince them that we're good with that before we even try anything else. That's right. We're right. good. Okay. Good here. But it's, I mean, it's, it's these outsiders is the problem. And if we just if we act like everything's normal, it's contagious. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It becomes right. a pacifier. Bring them, yeah. Bring them into yeah. the community. Make them feel like they're a part of us. Community. Yeah. Correct. Community, yes. yes. I believe mean, community, yes, but I don't think it's right to pretend like nothing's wrong because they're very wound up. It's not, but that's we the gotta, way we it is right now. We got to bring them back down. I, 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 I
Zoom, like, bomb, no like, one wants to be on a roller coaster. We want to be on a power Let's get off the roller like coaster. In the yeah. 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 So, peaceful and small. It appears returning to the static quo might be the current objective of that group. Though it appears that there is another group that has found their way into a small discussion. Maybe their ideas align. No idea what's going on. It's true. No. 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 Yes, we can renegotiate the deal. Right, exactly. We can't renegotiate the deal. Yes, we can. We've got ten we finger people down. in this town, and we the can. ten finger people are getting ten. the benefits that they're with no sacrifice. We know that magic That's exists. That's not fair. Jacob, we can we change can not only this town, we can change our entire lives. Who cares about them? If we don't want to trust the she doesn't want us to rock the boat, so we, we need rock to rock the boat. No, this is the opposite. She gave us one thing to do. Let's, Let's go work. back to our lives. Every deal can be it, negotiated. Exactly. Listen, I, it means we have the power to change it. We have the power to stop from these deaths happening. Someone has to be accountable for the children who died this week, and I think it's synchronicity. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? You, why do you care? Why are you caring right now? Why do I care? It doesn't affect I've lost friends. You know what? This is the spooky shit. It happens in the town. We get increased tourism. More people come to the diner. More people, people discover die who every you are. Day. We should What's all a few care more? about the future of this the town. Fingers, they can, they it's over. Lies. It's over. But the lies are more no, into no, no, the no, deal. No. It's, it's, it's just more value. Begun. We've yeah. paid more. We, we you're gonna, be you're gonna get, a, get me killed. You guys are thinking too small. The entire town on our side, or most of the town on our side, they have to fear the people. That's, That's right. how it works. Yeah. There are they a thousand need, of us. They need us they just need as much as they I would ask snap your fingers. that you roll a charm on that statement. Difficulty of eight. Oh. <laughs> that is a critical failure, though there are 12 tokens available. So you could technically succeed the action. I'll use the tokens. Okay. So I will bring you directly up to it using seven tokens. So everyone in the group, upon her little rousing speech, finds yourselves beginning to agree with her as her voice kind of rises above the rest as the current voice that you should probably be listening to of what to do next. we got to get everyone to go up against them. If we get this town, they, they have to listen to us. They have to abide by our rules. Do, deals take two sides. Mm -hmm. exactly. They might have one side of it, we have the other, and they exactly. need us to hold up their end of their bargain, or they have no power. Our ancestors yeah. may have bro brokered this deal, but we can renegotiate. We can renegotiate every deal. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But we gotta keep all the time a secret. Estate. For now, we can't let the other people know. No one with ten fingers can not know. For now. But we can use them. They're the new blood in the town. We can use them. They're our bargaining chip. Without them, we don't have no money, we have no tourism, we have nothing. So it appears that things need to change, just maybe not for the betterment of everyone else. Now, while you were listening in on that current conversation, there was another one quite interesting going on over here. So please, follow me. We're going to get it out there to where the people are going to find out what's really happening. Yeah, they ended that meeting way too quickly. We all know it was way and then it was she and knows more. There she is. Let's get it. I'm not Ms. going Will. away. Miss Will. Will. We're getting answers. Miss Will, we've got a couple of questions yeah. for you. Yes. Yes. While we're in this moment. Sure. While you don't have a captive audience of town members, maybe you want to give us some actual answers here. You see, our friend Corbin here has a bunch of cameras outside in the woods. As a matter of fact, he lives out there. I'm wondering, Corbin, was there any activity that you caught on those cameras of potentially these stonemasons or whoever I it is? I wonder that, too. Funny Please you mention that. Roll brains difficulty of 12. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That mm. is a three. <laughs> There's not even enough to help you in this situation. <laughs> you believe whatever it is you want to believe. No one else here will believe you. So, continue. Actually, there is absolutely no evidence that these, what, what were they called again? The stone, stone masons? Stone masons, yes. They don't exist. Sure. I've got hours of footage. But you've also got footage of, um, of other large creatures that you claim roam your property? You're damn right. Sure, okay. Yeah. And, 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 that and, and, you, and, and you dress up as those creatures to lure them to you, correct? I don't dress up as them. Okay. What? All right. Well, that's crazy. Footage talk. of any activity in the woods aside, it seems to me that 
you're hiding something. Synchronity knows something about what's going on here. You're trying to claim no responsibility whatsoever in the deaths of all of these children, placing the blame on someone else, yet you as a company are meant to protect this town. How do you answer for that? We do what we have to in order to protect this town. Do what you have oh, to. Oh my so goodness, goodness. Lost, right? It seems no, convenient to me children. that suddenly this- Roll your charm. I'm gonna ask for a difficulty of 14 in this instance. Whatever explanation you have is dog shit. <laughs> Listen, kids die. Wow. Wow. Wait. All right, wait. That's okay. right. This is done here. We're done. Listen, no, no, yeah. All right. You know what? No, no. no. Who I'm not getting done. I'm answers? Never done. If we can't do it the nice way, we're gonna go get a gun. No. Let's get his gun. Where's the? Where's the? Oh. No, I. I don't. Oh. Yeah, get his gun. That's how we get it. We don't need to resort to violence. I just want to be clear that if something happens to me. Sigrunady made some promises for you guys, right? Wait, what promises? And yes. who did you make promises to? To you guys, that we were going to make you a You didn't make any better. promises to me. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Right. So just answer the questions that we have here. Yes. This is a sure. very tense situation, I, and it doesn't have to be We want to do right. our best to, uh, to adhere to those promises. I think we should we should, we should work trapped in a building. That should be our focus right now. Let's take Absolutely. the focus off of this. I'm getting off, off the of death, the mayhem, and the absolute destruction yes, of our town. Yes, conveniently. And we're trapped in here with them. Yes. She's trapped in here as well. I exactly. Know. That's I why we get the answers. Did, are you, you, you think she would trap herself? Are, are you trapped? Yes. I heard an action in one of those statements. Uh, could you please roll for me your brawn? I'm going to say a difficulty of 14. Okay. It'd be a D10. Oh, D10 yes, that would be correct. Yeah, no? No, yeah, it was a, okay. Now that is a six. There are seven tokens available. Um, you can use them. I'll use one. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to use seven, correct? Or no, six. Oh, no. Eight. 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 You're not going to make Difficulty in this system is on a sliding scale. The closer you get to your result, the less bad that you fail. So if you'd like to use all the tokens in this instance, I will get you closer to the action that you announced. Which was you will still not get it, but you will get much closer than if you do not take it. Because it's worth a shot. It's up to you. All seven tokens are taken, and you find yourself face to face with Officer Warstone. Give me the gun. Absolutely not. The only way we're getting answers out of her is if we just use her own. I need everyone to back away at least ten feet. What are you? Hold on. We're gonna take that on, and we're gonna get answers now. Hold on. Take a moment. Yes. I'm not giving anyone the gun. No one's getting the gun. Everyone needs to relax. Think about the only way. We're not gonna escalate this to a point of no return. Arrest her now. Wait. Just imagine how she and her company uses tactics to get answers. She's a PR person. She doesn't know anything. We will find out the answers from people who know things. There's no reason to escalate this. Yes. We, we don't need to escalate. Right. I'm gonna sneak behind him and take the gun. Okay. Oh. I, seeing him do this, am going to try and distract. Okay, this I'm will be- I'm also gonna cause the distraction. This will be three actions in this given moment. I would like you, uh, in this situation, can you show me your character sheet? Absolutely. First, I will see how well these distractions work. Can you use your charm for me, difficulty of six? That is a two. Three. Your distraction does not in any way, shape, or form grab his attention. Your charm difficulty is six as well. It will not make that any more difficult for you. That is a four. Now you could succeed with the three tokens. There are three available, which would bring you to a seven. There will be none left for his action. It will be more difficult, but it's a risk you will have to take. No, I don't need the tokens. All right, you also are unable to distract him as he's currently fixated on the woman directly in front of him. Now, in your instance, you're going to give me, I'm gonna call this a fight action. Okay. Because you are making a hands-on contact with another individual to take something from them. And this is going to be a difficulty of eight. That's difficult, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it. My fight. Die is a d6. It's a four. As a four, there are only three tokens available. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna spin them to get as close as I can if, I, if I'm allowed to. You get up to seven, those three tokens disappear. You find yourself directly behind the officer with your hand on the gun, but Officer Warstone, you feel this gun start to move as you were able to feel the individual behind you making contact with that weapon, and the action that happens next is up to you. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. 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 No, th this is the only way. No, no, no. We no. made it clear, and we tried to be civil with you all. Yes. Officer Warstone is going to roll his charm. That's who... You know what? We'll call it your grit. <laughs> uh, do you have your sheet on you? No, Is it over here? I think so. I'm gonna tell you your grit is a D8, officer. And I will expect a difficulty of seven on whether or not you retain your composure in this instance. Your D8. Right here. That is a six. I declared in difficulty of seven. There's one token available. Would you like to use it? Sure. You are able to retain your composure in this instance. The gun does not accidentally go off. It's a cop here. Hey, you know you have people causing trouble all at ten fingers? No, no, no. Those no, no. kids are dead. dead. Nothing. I would die a thousand times for us to get answers from that cold, heartless bitch. Damn right. Hey, get your hand off me. You back off, man. Do your Who job. Calm down. Do your job, and I wouldn't have to be upset. Settle down and do your job and clean this place up. Really? Wow. Do I have a master's degree in computer science right. and synchronicity? Right. How many times have I done that? Great job on the computer. Quit touching me, man. Wait, everyone, please calm In the confusion, I don't want to see you on my board beds. Another group has decided to steal some supplies from the back of the room under the guidance of the volunteer fire department uh, employee. You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Brains difficulty of 12. You can find nothing, nothing at all. And in fact, while looking, you fall and sprain your ankle, and you find yourself up in the rafters of this. Uh, this closed off building on the outside, unable to now move in intense pain, and you had wandered off on your own. <laughs> if you would like to, as given that was your group's kind of intention yeah, yeah, to find these supplies, so I'm going to say you all spread out during the chaos of that situation and went looking. I will only allow one individual to roll for this in the group who would like to do Is it. it right? Yes. Oh, wow. you should roll. I, wait. I all right. So I double check. It doesn't matter. Difficulty yeah, of 12. That is 19. You find yourself in the possession of a large axe, as well as some gasoline. Okay, what would you like to do with it? I don't know if I can handle that responsibility, so I find anybody else in my group to come and help me with the axe and the Great. gasoline. Great, we'll check in on you momentarily. Great, thank you. We're going to very quickly kind of check in on this group over here who managed to section themselves off from some of the general chaos and having a conversation of their own. There isn't really any breach on synchronicity's end. Um, really? Because I believe what you said is that you protect us. That and things that would stay calm exactly and peaceful. And We're you. currently under a blizzard and people have died. Exactly. We weren't supposed to find out. <laughs> I take it. Things have changed. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, therefore, we need to renegotiate. That's right. All and we, deals can be we have um, negotiated. There are new that members that to tell us. Here's, here's, here's the thing. If something happens to me, we're, gonna keep we're, not, we're, we're not, not saying that. Kind of we're saying that our ancestors I can, brokered this deal. Oh, there are new people sure. here now, and I can get your uh, grievances up that ladder. No, we want to talk. About yeah, we, we want to talk, talk, talk about absolutely, we want to and as you should want to. Roll your charm. Difficulty of six. My charm. Make sure you're rolling the right die. 
I believe it's a D6. It is. Not the best charm. It's not. What is the difficulty? Six. Oh, I just keep happy. You all believe her to be lying, except that there are six tokens available. Would you like to use them? I'll use them to get me to a five. Only a five. That's like a partial success? No, it's a failure. Oh, oh, then I'll use them all. Then I need to get to a six. Okay. Only one token remains, as you believe everything she is telling you currently, that maybe there is options available for you. There might be some options available. Great. Good. Great. What I need from you is to monitor the individuals that might stand to take away what you have. There are people who do not understand and will not understand. They need to be controlled somehow. It might help them to relax if synchronicity takes a little responsibility to the situation. Have to tell you me to hear a true statement. I tell me to hear that someone is responsible. Here's the thing. Imagine. Imagine me saying that. Imagine me saying synchronicity, whatever. Do you think that those people will take that grain and be happy with it? Do you see how riled up that man is? He tried to pull a gun. And so did that woman. Here's what because they're hearing nothing right now. It's not. Forget PR. You're very good at it. Thank you so much. I see how you got this job. Thank you so much. What you need to do mm -hmm. is appeal to their emotions, appeal mm -hmm. to us as people. Mm -hmm. If you appeal to them at an emotional level and get them to sympathize mm -hmm. with you and the company and the things that are going on, it will seem more true. Okay, okay so wait, I, I throw a chair. Stop away. acting like a bitch. Okay. Cry. Sure. Cry. Sure. Just, just say, like, we... look real crying. Yeah. Why yeah. are we saying to fake it? No, genuinely. Oh, you can't, you can't make me genuinely. I'm so sorry. No. Right. Well, so I would make, like to see someone from their happen. company that actually cares I for our town. That exists. That, that you, they can't happen. I, look, I'm telling you what it is. It, 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 it won't. I can't do that. But in this moment, the least you can do. What if your job depended on it? While they continue trying to renegotiate the terms of a deal that they didn't make, another group who has currently found supplies is trying to figure out what exactly to do with them. So. So we're, we're gonna yeah, we check a, on the hatch. We'll take a look at the something slid off the roof. There's probably not a lot of snow there. There's probably yeah. a chance to move around. We can get everybody out. We can use yes. that at least as a backup plan in case things go south. Yeah. yeah. I want to find that other place. girl. She she didn't come back. Somebody can go to the roof and okay. then she's by herself she's she's my, supplies. She said everyone concern. by herself. She's preparing for an apocalypse. That's what she told us. Why? Anyways. Yeah, so, so maybe she got stuck somewhere. And, or blankets, and then we can open we a door. We can at least send a couple people looking for her mm -hmm. and report back in case they find she's anything. She's talking about killing people. What if she attacks people? We're her team. Well, we should make sure she's not trying to do that. We have an axe. I'll we look for her. I'll go look That's what for we her. found, okay? I'm not going to let you just go look by yourself. That's crazy. Well, whoever wants to come, okay. come, but Teams I'm going to go look many. for her. Teams of two men. Okay. 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 So, Watch each other's backs. I'll go with you, and do, do, do we still want to check out the roof, or? Yeah, we'll, 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 check, we'll so, check out the roof. Yeah, we'll go over there. You look, yeah. Roof and girl. Okay. Who, who wants the axe? I think okay. he's the, he's the best. Yeah. Okay. No. I don't think separate. you should hold anything, Mr. Synchrony. If it gets too cold, we'll need to You're science right? Yeah. You yeah, you can take okay. the gasoline. He's, he's, okay, well, we'll okay. so you, you go look for her, and we'll, okay. we'll go see if there's anything on the roof, maybe we can, an escape plan or something, just get ready, because they're about to break, and we cannot be here when they break. like a secret call, so we know in case anything goes wrong. Yeah, yeah, she needs back somewhere. Like a bird? Yeah, can anybody do bird calls? I have a cockatiel. I have a bird. I just said I have a bird, but that's a very good bird sound. Yeah, I can't do that, but that's great. Okay. Well, you know that Who would like to make an action, and how would they like to do it? Well, we have two, two uh, things going to happen. Um, one team is going to look on the roof for an exit hatch, in case this goes crazy and people yes. start shooting each other. He is aware of where the exit hatch is. Okay. He knows exactly where it is. I can tell people, too. Yeah, and then the other part of us is going to look for the girl who's missing. We're worried about her. Make sure Understood. So, I'm going to have you roll your brains for me. Difficulty of 12. Eight. 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 Oh, it's a D8? Right. Yeah. D8. Difficulty of 12, quite high. Oh. You have 12 tokens available. 
So you could technically use, selfishly, for your own means, however many you want. Are my nuts? People on the way out. Um, and this with a plus one as well? Oh, you get a plus You have three. So okay. you only need to use nine tokens. You would leave some. Yeah. I'll take, um, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. So, I will come back to you and we will resolve that because your action of looking for these things kind of depends on whether or not there is some sort of general distraction that makes this available to you. So, we'll go check in on that and return. Wait, can we look for the girl? Yes, that's a, you can okay, do that later. without cost. So, now we see about getting out. Just think about it. We return to the situation with the gun and the police officer. This situation has been escalating, all of this kind of happening at once. Officer, all that we're asking is for you to stand up for the people of this town. Yeah, why are you guys doing your job? I'm not doing anything. I'm playing fucking Little League with your brother. He's using his words. Officer Warstone. Josh, what are you trying to do in this instance? I'm going to try to cuff this individual. If you would like to cuff him, please roll your fight. And this is going to be a difficulty of six. I believe your find is a D10. So, uh, give me this one. Difficulty of six. Of course. That is a nine. <laughs> As the two individuals are yelling and fighting with each other, Officer Warstone almost instinctively cuffs the young man, turning his arms behind his back. Now, in this moment, Come on! Seriously? Come on. Against the you reach for a, a gun. Response. I reach I for a gun, gun because we're under assault by this company. Just stay against the wall. And an opening has appeared as a hand has found itself on a gun. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to pull the gun on him. What? Oh. Yes! <laughs> this is a fight action. Do you have your sheet D10. on? D10. It's a D10. Wow. Given yeah, that your so hand was on the gun out. as he turned, I'm going to call this just a difficulty of six. How unfortunate. I am going to try to also take the gun, but I'm trying to run away with it. Hide it. Now that is a three. I said a difficulty of six. There are currently four, four, four tokens Use available. Them. I will take, take them all. The gun finds its way into your hand. Quite easily, actually, as it landed directly in your palm as the officer turned. As the gun now finds itself placed underneath the arm of the officer. Now, given you have somewhat of an advantage in this situation, what would you like to say or demand or what is your action? I'm gonna tell him to let my buddy go or else I fill him full of lit. <laughs> How does the officer respond? <laughs> That's a good answer. Okay. Well, actually, why don't you roll your charm? <laughs> <laughs> What's your charm, officer? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh me! It's gonna be your charm. My charm. Let's see whether or not the officer complies. T8 plus one. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna do that with a difficulty of six as well. Six. So five. Plus. You used all of the tokens. Plus no, here plus one. It's a... Oh, it's a plus one. Plus one. Yeah. Okay. This is quite convincing. <laughs> <laughs> officer Warsome, you find yourself under the belief that if you do not let go, you will find yourself shot. Okay. He removes his hands. The individual whoa, whoa, now whoa. still holding a gun. A gun is wielding its way around the room. In the hands of a man who lives in the woods. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Right. 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 Where is she? Where is she? Where is the Tiffany lady? Where are you, you coward? There she is. Where did she go? She's trying to slip out. Hey, hey, we want to answer. Don't get anybody else hurt. It's her. Yeah, it's her. Where's the last time you had a big thing? Watch my back. Watch my back. Get out of the way. There's children over here. She didn't lose anybody else. There's children over here, please. And I'm pointing over here. It's because of her. It's because of Sigourney that the children are dead in the first place. Look at me. I am. And you're in my line of fire. They kill either. kids. Technically, this man is not a resident of Polak. He's not a resident of anywhere but his tent in the woods. I'm going to ask that you roll your... In this situation, we're going to call it your grit to see if you keep your composure. Difficulty of seven. <laughs> it's a critical fail. It's a critical fail. So Marl gets shot? <laughs> 
The gun goes off. <gasps> no! no! A quiet silence falls over the room as Merle Jenkins finds blood seeping oh. underneath his shirt. Okay. Oh, oh my done. gosh! We're done. Oh, We're done. Oh, Merle! 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 Oh Merle. my gosh! Merle. Back off! Okay. Oh my god. Doctor, what, what, what do you need? Help the doc out. Don't let her get away! Oh, we're done. Stop we're done. It. Okay, okay, you, you killed one. Hold on, hold on. The you truth one. is out there! You yes, killed one. She has it! You the killed one. Shoot. Shoot. I didn't mean to shoot him! You did, you did. You need to get your hand off the weapon. Yes, yes. You just, you Ow! Could you could possibly get somebody in. else shot by an awful fight. Now, this is going to be a very difficult roll, as you are currently shot and bleeding out on the floor at close range. This is going to be a difficulty of 14, and you're going to be using your grit. See if you can keep it together. D12. It's a 6. That is a 6. Four. That will not do it. As you feel the blood leaving your body. The pain starts to recede. You don't feel much of anything anymore. As his eyes glaze over, Dr. Wallace Ronnie, you know better than anyone that he's gone. This stuns and shocks the room. <coughs> Everyone knows what has happened. Their brains are having a hard time coming to terms with it. As it seems, people's fear maybe has gotten the best of them. But, fortunately for them, not everything has to be dealt with. Sometimes, things can be forgotten. We begin again. Everyone in this room, except for one, finds themselves unaware of why they're currently here. They are where they are. They see the individuals around them, scared, frightened. A man holds a gun. You find yourself holding on to him. You also see a body, dead, on the ground, behind you. A man is dead. Officer, take the gun. Nobody knows why or how, but it's easy for them to assume, given the individual who is holding the gun. Why you are currently gathered in this place, you do not know. What brought you here, you have no idea why you find yourself in the volunteer fire department, you can't recall. In fact, you can't recall anything from the last five days. And that is where we will end tonight's episode of Colock 1991. So thank you, all of you. Give yourself a round of applause. Woo! Seriously, though, thank you all so much. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Uh, you all killed it. This was a trip. Uh, make sure to tune in next week uh, to see why what just happened happened, because there is a reason. 
There's always a reason. Uh, there was one individual, though, like I said at the end, uh, who was unaffected by all of that. And I'm going to give her one final action, as in the general confusion, she would be able to take that action at her leisure. So, Miss Wu, what would you like to do at the end of this? Um, I would take, like to take the two children and leave them. I will allow it. Miss Wu finds herself in the possession of two kids who have no idea who they are or how they got here, and they find themselves on the way to Secret Needy. Now, much to your surprise, it appears that outside, all of you, when you went to leave, there was a snowstorm that had happened, but it's already melting. The door had been barricaded by what was a phone pole knocked over, but with the snow melted, it's quite easy to open. Whether or not this group of individuals talks about this ever again is kind of up to them, and maybe we'll find out again sometime in the future. But that's all we got for tonight's episode of Colog. Thank you guys so much. Uh, seriously, everyone here, thank you so much. You guys killed it. So much fun. Yeah, this is super fun. Uh, I do want... Uh, uh, Alex Need is over there. Yeah. I want Alex to come over here. Okay, so uh, we're gonna sing Alex Happy Birthday. Woo! So, everybody ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alex. Happy birthday to you. Uh, for, those, for those that don't know, uh, Alex does all the music for the show. He composes everything. Uh, he does an amazing, amazing job. And you said you're gonna put it all out in an album soon, right? When are you, when are you gonna get when are you gonna get done with that? <laughs> Uh, but seriously, thank you all so much. Uh, hopefully uh, you find everyone who is here tonight. Please let people know on social media that using the hashtag so they can find you. Make sure to follow all these wonderful individuals. Everybody killed it so, so much tonight. You guys were so great. This was so much fun. This is a really wild trip. Uh, so uh, Malika, you said we had a couple giveaways. We have four MeUndies giveaways, so get active in the chat. Uh, we have MeUndies sponsorship, so get active in the chat. Uh, the mods will be doing a giveaway. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back tomorrow with the season premiere of Blood Curdling Tales from the Loop. Blood Curdling Tales in time. It's the name of the show. You didn't. I don't have any notes. I don't got any notes here. Blood Curdling. <laughs> Thank you for watching Hyper RPG. We have the relaunch of Blood Curling Tales in Time on Tuesday. That's tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Also, we have a whole bunch of awesome content this week. We have a launch off the menu on Wednesday. We have a hyperdrive. Uh, this Friday, we're dropping our Avengers uh, non-spoiler review uh, on Wednesday. Uh, also on Thursday, so that everybody can watch the Avengers. Us behind the camera, people on camera, and you at home. We're doing Warhammer, our Grimdark Dawn show at 4 p.m. Yeah. on Thursday. Lots of wonderful people here. And don't forget, this Sunday is a very special What If Avengers Hyperdrive. We're only GMing uh, Avengers What If scenarios for 12 hours. So keep the hype going on all week long. And remember to use hashtag Coloc1991. You found yourself back at the start. <laughs>